French port of Toulon is seeing a hive of activity near its well-protected entrance, where a former airbase is being rapidly converted into the Mediterranean's largest capacity refit centre. First operational in 1914, the St. Mandria Air Base site was bought by IMS in 2005. And it's actually from up here that you get a full idea of the scale of this project. Behind me, they're putting the finishing touches to the hard standing, and across to the seaward side, they're putting in the most important phase of the operation, which is the floating dock, the area where the yachts will be lifted out. It's a full-on project, it's taking place in the middle of summer, and fingers crossed, it'll all be ready by the end of the year. The new facility, IMS 700, is five kilometres from the existing yard, IMS 300, which was established in 1985 and has since grown into a highly successful refit base. The yard tackles everything from relaying of teak decks to major engineering overhauls and modifications. IMS is also the appointed service centre for leading builders such as Palmer Johnson and Heeson. With 15 slots and a 320 tonne travel hoist undergoing a routine service during our visit, IMS 300 was also receiving some new groundworks. Pretty as these reflections are, the standing water was a problem, so the new surface will quickly whisk it away. But this is nothing compared with the 60,000 square metres hull standing being built over at IMS 700. The new facility is at the end of a military road, so there's no through traffic. As we drove past the derelict buildings, onto the hard standing, we could appreciate the extent of the infrastructure, especially the former seaplane hangars that will each be able to house several 35 metre yachts. In charge converting it all is Effiage's architect Mark Rizel, and his main task is to get the yard operational by Christmas 2014. His priority is the lifting dock, which has involved some major engineering with the setting of steel piles deep into the seabed. Uh, those piles are 34 to 40 meters length and they are in steel. Each of them are heavy, such as 19 tons. These groundworks are needed for a 60 meter pier that will support nearly a thousand tons at a time namely a yacht of up to 670 tonnes, and the machinery needed to move it around the yard. And here it is. Now this is IMS's new travel hoist, and it's actually being built on site right here in the yard. It's the first time I've ever seen a travel hoist actually being put together. Uh, four weeks of uh, building, uh, two weeks for the structure and two weeks for the equipment. It was delivery with uh, 17 trucks, uh, I waited one more, <laughs> the last one. I used it first not for both for lodging the, the, the parts of the, 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 the breaking waves and the, and the dock. Overseeing the project is IMS President Dennis Pellegrino, who is a former military man himself. And what inspired you to build IMS 700? We were a little bit obliged because IMS 300 at the moment is completely full from beginning of October to the end of May. And every week during the high season, we refuse some clients. So, and also it was the opportunity of a Navy quit this site in 2004. So we, are, we know the site, of course, is part of the area of Toulon since many years. It was built for Navy in 1925. So we, every people know the area, of course. And when we have know that the Navy is supposed to quit, of course, we jump on it. <laughs> it's a big area too, isn't it? It's a big area, it's five times bigger than IMS on the ground. We have five or four big sheds, around 3,000 square meters each, and also we have a maritime part, around 50,000 square meters of maritimes. So we asked, how much does a project on this scale actually cost? It's approximately 23 million of euro investment to, uh, to remake the floor, to make all the connection electrical, to rebuild the interior of the shed and the, the building, and also to build some new pontoon, breaking waves, and only a place for the new travel lift. So clearly you've got confidence that this is facilities needed. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And also the market, you know, the market is growing everywhere, so we have new boat delivery on the, on the Mediterranean coast, especially in the place between Monaco and Saint-Tropez. So we are 
the shipyard closer to this area, so the crew has really enjoyed to come to our shipyard at the moment because they can be at home every night or every weekend. In fact, crews will have their own dedicated area at IMS 700, and this former control tower building will become an office block and VIP owner's suite with panoramic views. But as the heart standing outside was only ever designed for aircraft, surely it needed reinforcing for the much heavier yachts. Yes, definitely. Uh, so we have to rebuild completely the ground above 70 cm depth. So we have to rebuild, we uh, reform uh, like a uh, concrete platform over 60,000 uh, square meter. We have to completely rebuild. You will see on this afternoon this place. And so far the project's gone according to plan? Completely. We have started to the work in March and we have scheduled one year to finish all the work, but we are in good way to uh, only out the first boat at the December 20, uh, 2014. Yeah. And, and sort of finally, how do you see the future for IMS? You see getting busier and busier? I think and I hope, yes, definitely. We refuse, like I told you before, our clients every day, and also we can propose to builders, like we do actually with uh, two major shipyards, like Eason and Palmer Johnson. So we're going to propose to many shipyards who have this base in Mediterranean and to propose some service on, on after sell, especially on, on a shipyard like Sunseeker or Princess or Trinity. At the moment, I have been contacted by this shipyard already to have a base, and I have refused for many years in IMS because I need place. Now? Now I'm going to, of course, accept their, their proposal and work with them, I hope. Yeah. Wishing you every success for the future. Then. Thank you.